You're never safe with Dean Ambrose around. He can strike from anywhere. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. And oh, looking at Sheamus, what's the story for him right now? As you know, we're talking about someone with a lot of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You gotta let talent like that shine on its own. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Wow, I cannot believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. Sheamus sneaks out of that one. And I'm sure that was just pure instinct on Sheamus' part. A strategy a superstar will need against Sheamus is to not allow him to build momentum. If an opponent leaves an opening, the Great White will bust it wide open and begin to start stringing his power moves together. That usually spells the beginning of the end for Sheamus' opponent. Well, Cole, if you're going up against Sheamus, and I don't care who you are, you cannot let him start putting his power moves together one after the other. Your match with the Celtic Warrior will be over in a hurry if you do. And it's Dean Ambrose with a punch that time. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. The crushing moves of the great white Sheamus have shown that if any WWE superstar is going to put their name on the dotted line, they better have a plan. Once Sheamus builds that momentum in a match, he starts thinking about that final attack, the bro kick. Oh, out of nowhere! There's a punch worthy of the greatest heavyweights of the time. Yeah, that looked like a Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali shot. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. And I think he's begging him to bring it. Man, I haven't seen domination like this in a long, long time. Oh, this spells trouble right here. Listen, we all know coming up with a strategy against Sheamus is easier said than done. But you need something if you're going to take on one of the strongest forces in WWE. If you get caught up in the momentum of Sheamus, Roman Reigns delivering crippling punishment. Whoa, don't get up. <laughs> and there's the spear, no doubt now. Roman Reigns has got this. I would say it's an easy victory. Well, not an easy, but a victory for Roman Reigns. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He makes the tag. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. He's showing no signs of letting up. You know, Sheamus grew up in Dublin, Ireland, and get this, he was part of his church choir. <laughs> Before he made his way to WWE, Sheamus received some incredible move by Dean Ambrose. He's setting it up. This could end it in a hurry. Perhaps Dean Ambrose has this match won now, people. Oh, man! That makes the cover. One, two, three, and he's in there trying to get something. They got it! Here are your winners, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. You want to talk about...